In this video, we're going to be using 345 Soap Company 13 Elements and the Mighty Wick. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at LEAF. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and welcome in. Welcome in, folks. Today, we're going to be using 13 Elements, and this is by 345 Soap Company and the Razor Company. And I got to say, I do not much care for the scent on this. We'll get to that in a moment. The cost is $16.99 for 5.8 ounces, and on our cost chart there, that is an exceptional price of $2.92 an ounce. The scent on this is just a little bit funky for my taste, but what we've tried to do is fix it with HCNC's uh, Riviera uh, scenting oil, so we'll see how that goes. I lathered it up, and it was like, ah, it's just got a little bit of a funk to it. I'm going to put the notes for you on the screen right there, and I think... It's the synthetic animal musk that I'm not liking. Maybe the moss, I'm not sure. But just overall, it's just a little bit funky to my nose. But when I put the Riviera drops in it, it made it a little bit better. So we're hoping we brought it up to at least a, a level that's pleasant and sort of knocked out some of that funk. So HCNC Pete coming to rescue me from the funk. And I appreciate that a lot. This is in the 345 Tallow Base. Uh, it's called Trinity. I think very good soap, easy to lather, very good quality, good cost. The only thing I don't like about this one is the scent, but I wanted to try it and at least lather it. And uh, when I lathered it, quite frankly, it got worse. So I'm like, this is a no. <laughs> so I said, HCNC, help me, help me. So we'll help. We hope we did something nice with that today. The razor for today is the Weck Sexto Blade, and this is the full version. And last week I used the red-handled one, and I'll put a I'll put a shot up there on the screen of the difference in size, which is just very, very slight. But I will warn you, as I always do when I use the Weck, if you want one that's full size, get one like this with the cream handle that looks like this is the full size. There are some that are much, much smaller and harder to use. So, so just be cognizant of that. And without further ado, let's get into the shave. Let's get into it. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna announce a giveaway today, a new giveaway and announce a giveaway winner. So stay tuned for that. And we'll try not to take too long today because we have a very busy day in store once again. The brush for today is the uh, West Coast Shaving Honeycomb right here. And we'll mix this up a little bit. And I, I'd say the scent on this is definitely better. I've knocked some of the funk back. Not 100%, uh, but I didn't want to use a million drops. I put about five or six drops of the Riviera in here to sort of tune it up a little bit. And again, it's I think it has improved the scent, but it did not entirely, in, did not entirely, excuse me, knock out the funk, which I was trying to do. I would have had to use even more drops. And, you know, you don't want to use so many drops that you get frag burn. So, uh, what can you do? Sometimes you just don't like a scent. <laughs> but this one out of the tub, I knew immediately. I was like, I don't know. But I was hoping when I lathered it, like it would warm it up and change it. But it did not. And so <laughs> we'll just have to press forward uh, with it, with our doctored sort of scent and see how it goes. The quality, fantastic. 345 makes excellent, excellent soaps. But they can't all be winners on scent. And this one is not for me, but I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that really like it. You might be one of those people, and if you do, great. I'm glad you like it. But for me, it's uh, it's not a scent that's very pleasing to my nose. Um, although it is better now that we've done some work on it. <laughs> we've got it at least to where it's not um, uh, repulsive to me, because <laughs> I'm just not a, I'm very sensitive to funky scents, very sensitive. And this one, um, it's not bad at all. All right, let's get going today with our whip, and we'll do a little stretching here. Come in easy and just be very easy. The blade is the Kismet blade. And before you ask, those can be found on eBay. I get asked every time I use this razor, where do you get the blade? eBay. Uh, there are no retailers in the US so far that I know of that uh, sell these blades. I hope somebody will pick some of them up uh, because they are fantastic. But uh, I don't know anybody right now who does they also make other you can use other blades with this as well there's persona hair shaper blades there's other brands as well that you can get off amazon but the kismet just seems 
special. It's very smooth. That's its number one sort of attribute that's awesome. Super smooth. It cuts very efficiently and effectively. And I like that in a blade. So while we're shaving here, let's go ahead and put on the screen the winner of last week's giveaway, and that is Aaron Hall. So Aaron Hall, email me, cdb at imcdb.com, and you have, uh, or you will receive a $25 gift card from the Razor Company, which I will purchase for you. Thank you, Aaron. I know Aaron's been a commenter for quite a long time. Usually has something positive and nice to say, so we appreciate you, Aaron. And uh, I will announce a new giveaway here in just a moment. Because we want to keep the, the good vibes uh, going. Everybody can use good vibes right now, right? With all that's going on. It's a, it's a really, uh, it's a difficult time in the world. Uh, sorry about that. I got a little, didn't know where I wanted to start with the blade there. Wanted to start way up there with no lather. And you don't want to do that. Especially with a, with a, uh, a straight razor or shave vet. You definitely don't want to start in the area with no lather. So immediately when I put it up high like that. I was getting ready to get that little bit right there and then I was like, no, let's not do that. <laughs> You're kind of asking for a cut to do something like that and we definitely don't need any cuts today. So we'll just try to be easy and gentle and mind our technique. All right, very nice, very nice indeed. So let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway for this week. And there's two items in this giveaway. There'll be one winner, two items, and it's gonna be another $25 gift card from the Razor Company, which I will buy. And there's a gentleman named Marty Catalar, and I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, Marty. He had made an order with HCNC, and he bought some five milliliter uh, oils. Uh, these are two, and he was inadvertently sent the two, and when he reached out to Pete, Pete, of course, said, keep the two milliliter, I'll send you the five milliliters. Pete always overcorrects in his customer service. And so the gentleman, Marty, was like, hey, can I send these to you? And I said, no, don't send them to me. Let's just give them away. So he's going to give away, we're going to add to the $25 gift card, courtesy of Marty, the, these oils. Um, one of them is Mysterious, one of them is Fresh and Clean, Corsican Sun, and Kilim, I don't know what the other one is called, but four oils total. Let's just put it that way. So thank you, Marty for that. And the way to enter the giveaway there is just uh, write IMCDB in the comment below. You don't have to write anything else if you don't want to. And uh, the winner will get a $25 gift card and those four scenting oils, which will be coming from Marty. Thank you again, Marty. And thanks to Pete at HCNC for providing exemplary, exemplary customer service. Pete always overcorrects. And I know Jason at the Razor Company who collaborated with the soap overcorrects too. They have tremendous customer service and that's always a great thing. So those are two people I really like buying from. And I made another order with, with Pete just recently. Haven't unboxed it yet. Maybe I'll unbox it in the hospital garage today and air it later in the week. But uh, I've just been having a great experience with Pete's stuff. And I have to say, we have definitely improved the scent today by using Pete's oil. So. Because at first it just, it was one of those that quite frankly was giving me a sour face. I was like, uh, but now it's like, I still get a little bit of that funk, just slight. That's funk is hard to cover up people, you know, it's hard to cover up. And so today is, is no exception, but it is not quite as pronounced the original scent. And I like that. So let's try to finish up here. Can you hear the feedback? Very nice. Kismet Blade, very, very nice indeed. And at some point, the next time I uh, reload a blade in here, someone asked me to show loading the blade, I will. But that'll be a good long time because these blades last a good while. Um, I'm not sure, usually I, leave, I lose track, excuse me, of how many shaves I have on a blade and I don't remember, so just keep that in mind, that they will last a long time. Like it's not gonna be three shaves and out, like a, uh, a DE blade. These will give you more mileage and they are more expensive. Of course, I can't remember what they cost. Again, just search Kismet Blade on uh, eBay. They're made in Germany, I believe, if memory serves. And uh, if you have a WEC, give it a shot. It's a really good blade. But hopefully at some point, someone in the United States will uh, pick them up, stock them so you can get them a little quicker because it'll probably take a little bit of time if you're in North America to get them from Germany. 
I'm assuming last time if you're in Europe. Very nice feedback there. And what a nice blade this is. It's just fantastic. I love it. As I always say, the, the WEC is sort of for me the ultimate open blade experience. All you get is that little tiny thin blade hanging out there. There's nothing to protect you. It's all you. And if you do the right things, you get an amazing shave. But you have to go easy. You can't come in too hot, too quickly, or too steep. Those are things to keep in mind. But otherwise, fantastic. Very, very nice indeed. Very pleasant. And I have to say once again, we've uh, we've definitely helped this. In. <laughs> and of course, no disrespect to 345 Soap Company or the, the Razor Company. You can't love all the scents, you know. This one is just, um, was one I just didn't care for. Um, but mostly I have liked the 345 Soap Company scents and I have liked every TRC collaboration except for this one. This one would be a no for me. <laughs> <laughs> but quality wise it's fantastic great price i kind of like the kind of like the label too i don't know it's kind of unique i, I mean i kind of dig that but uh, the scent on it is a no-go for me <laughs> all right i think that is good enough let me uh, rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post stay tuned and all right, we are back and off came. We did a rinse to get rid of the soap. Then we applied our PAA alum. After applying the alum, no stinging, so super smooth shave, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had a really nice shave today with 345 Soap Company 13 Elements and this is a collaboration with the Razor Company. And to be honest, I wish there was like nine elements or maybe eight elements because 13, uh, when you included all the elements, um, brought the funk and there was no getting around the funk. We did make it a better smelling funk with uh, the Riviera scenting oil by HCNC, but still it kind of covered up the funk a little bit, but every now and then it would sort of uh, show through and uh, I just don't care for this scent um, at all. Although it is a good quality soap and you may like it if you like, you know, uh, scents that are a little bit I don't know. It's funky. Let's just put it that way. There's no way to get around. I just didn't care for the scent on this one, but the soap quality, amazing. Great service at 345 and the Razor Company as always, but uh, the soap was just not a winner today. The WEC was a winner as always, and this is the full-size Sexto Blade version, which you should look for if you're looking for one with an acrylic sort of handle or plastic, whatever you want to call it. Really, really nice shaver. We enjoyed using that. We used our HCNC, or no, it's not HCNC. It's West Coast Shaving Honeycomb Brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug, and we'll finish it out once again with Fine Platinum, and we're getting towards the bottom of this, and we're gonna go heavy today because we definitely wanna get rid of uh, that 3, 4, 5, 13 elements. Uh, I don't wanna be smelling like that today. Oh, all right, that is nice, much, much better. Thank you so much for joining me today, folks. I really appreciate it. Till next time, remember, I'm your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.